What is up, boss ones? This is Asper Fraction One here. Welcome back to another episode of Dramatical Murder, the most famous Yaoi game there probably is. I don't know if that's true or not, but I know there's a great fan base behind it. <laughs> very, 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 very passionate fan base, I should say. Anywho, following Rain's instructions, I enter into a narrow side street. Once I get through here, I'll be close to to the courier. The thing that acts as a divider to the four parts of the old re resident district is a street called Ayogi or Ayog Ayoga oh Ayagi Ayagi I think it's Ay Ayoyagi I I'm working on my Japanese Ayagi Street I'm gonna call it that on Yagi Street there are lots of stores where you can get common items cheaply in contrast there are many maniac hobby stores in the back streets <laughs> boys um terrible joke I know I know as I walk on the side street a group leaning untidily against a dirty wall stand out like guys turning dark talk, uh, talking wow my voice cracked turns biting a silver drug street sheet I am so off today I have to warm up my boys that's the thing that sort of atmosphere what's wrong with punk kids these days there was a time when I thought those kind those kind of things were normal I was the same but hey it's not like I'm old enough to speak like a grandpa I'm finished with that kind of thing totally we all went through that phase come on let's be real oh most of us did. I, I was one of those. I was one of those. It wasn't very long though. It was like very, very short. Very, very short. Like really, it was like a couple months long. As I passed between the guys hanging out, the contents of their loud conversation reached my ears. Who hijacked you in the head? Huh? Yeah, well, I don't know what they're talking about. A rhyme game? What, are we about to have like a rhyme battle or something? What is this? Why, why are they capitalizing rhyme? I'm trying to figure out why they're capitalizing it. Wait, why is it impossible? <laughs> so, in this world, there's such a thing as a drive-by rhyme battle thing. I don't understand that either. That is pretty bad. They seem to be talking about rhyme. Oh, okay, so there's a person named Rhyme. So, there's a, there's a person named Rhyme who has a rhyme game, I think. I, I don't know. That apparently does drive-by, like, rhyme games. I, I don't know either. Rhyme is an avatar type online fighting game. Oh! That makes all. Okay, I thought it was a person the whole time. Okay, so it's an online fighting game. That sounds pretty cool, actually. When opponents connect their consciousness online with the device, they can experience a virtual battle that feels real. Oh my gosh. We all. that It's every. Oh my goodness. Everything's coming a step closer towards that reality. I can't wait till that happens. Real life SEO? And hold. Who knows? A real life. Rhyme? That would be pretty freaking awesome. There's no notification as to when, whether it's, uh, where it's happening at all. When Usi, who performs the holding and judging of the game, appears then, that place becomes the battlefield, or the field. At first, it was a free game made by the amateur. The rules were loose and apparently there was no Usi either. When it gained popularity fast, Toe Inc. affiliated the companies finally became sponsors. Then there was a straining of the system with the adding of Usi and the set official rules, which is set is what rhyme is today. Well, since I'm not doing rhyme, it doesn't concern me. For now. I'm pretty sure we're gonna be joining it. Oh, I almost got Log Horizon, of course, but I pass through the alley and walk onto Ayogi Street again. That sounds fun though. I would although I would hate like if I'm busy doing something and all of a sudden it's like, you must play in this game. I'm like, <laughs> I like <laughs> Oh, the struggle. I can see the courier sign at the end of the wide road. While walking towards it, I notice a thick crowd in the middle of the road. Oh, let me get some fights going on. A rhyme battle. It seemed to be a loud fight. Curious onlookers gathered around and made noise. Now, that's freaking awesome, though. I would just have random people cheer for you because there's a game going on in the middle of the street. That's pretty cool, but I can imagine everything just being slowed down dramatically. I continue to walk, trying to avoid the whole mess. A stir in the crowd suddenly occurs, followed by a shrill scream. Hmm. I look into the center between the curious onlookers sitting at my on my tiptoes. A big bulky man shamefully lies on the ground while another man stands next to him. The man standing was facing away from me, even so I immediately recognize him. 
a bright red kimono, and a big sword. It could only be him. Wait, what? Did he like try to embarrass like a lady in public and rhyme? <laughs> Alright, so we know what the ladies are going for. <laughs> when Kajaku, that's that's the female fan base behind this game, by the way. <laughs> Let's be real here. I'm putting that out there. When Kajaku taps the sword to his shoulder, the heart eyed girls rush to him while stepping on the man laying on the ground. Sheesh. Uh, oh, and I skipped it. Or they finish it for me. Awesome. A woman who was standing at a distance approaches Kojaku and, and all apologetically lowers her head in a bow. <laughs> what hair? You barely have any hair. Oh, burn. Okay, that, that's terrible. I don't have anything against short haired. That, that's actually pretty hot. <laughs> Very cheeky. Wait, the embarrassed woman seemed to be the lover of the man still laying on the street. Perhaps the two try to enter Kojaku's shop and start an uproar or something. Kojaku controls the surrounding woman gently with hand gestures and smiles at the bowing woman. Oh, so he has that type of power. So he's a hairdresser? That is a badass hairdresser. I don't want to mess with that hairdresser. I don't want to mess with Kajaku. <laughs> uh, <笑>あ、彼氏もちっと強引だったが、あんたを思っての So he's a badass with a nice heart, a very forgiving heart. Now that's pretty awesome. I can see why the ladies go crazy over him and want him to be his hairdresser. The troubled woman's expression changes incredibly quickly. Her eyes sparkle and bl uh, she blushes up to her cheeks. Well, that poor husband. Now he's never going to see her again, I think. Did this really have to happen? The other surrounding woman apparently didn't like where this was going. So they start to push around the enchanted woman. I want to work. I want to do his job. I mean, he probably gets a good amount of tips from other things, too. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh. It... <laughs> Let me guess, she probably wouldn't wash it when she gets it back. Such a badass. Seriously, he's like so okay with this. Okay. Wow. This fan base, though, seriously. <laughs> he knows how to steal the hearts of ladies. Kajaka takes a woman's hand together with her handkerchief and draws him closer to himself, smiling. <laughs> what a tease. What a tease. She's gonna die on the street from a nosebleed. <laughs> there it is. His famous lady killer smile. At least that's what I call it. <laughs> yep, she's gonna die. That's like me when I was at the Biku Expo when I saw Luca. When she sung to me, I was like mesmerized. <laughs> the handkerchief woman goes into a wicked state and attracts glare full of terrible jealousy. Every single woman seems to be <laughs> the poise for the kill. That felt like me at the Miku Expo. <laughs> I know, seriously, let's leave. This is like, yeah, that guy's out of our league, I think. I see this act many times. Disgusted, I start to separate from the crowd. Oh, oh does he know me? Oh, there's that girl. There's the handkerchief girl. She's like losing it. Oh my god, <laughs> he took my handkerchief. Crap. I know that everybody's attention is not directed to me. Don't call me out now. Not now. This is bad. Let's pretend I didn't notice. I turn him on my heels and quickly start to walk away. Oh, oh crap, this is not good. Kujaku, disregarding my attitude, runs after me and catches my arm. Here we go again. Kojak! That's so awesome, I like that. <laughs> I like how he says my name. Alba! 
It's like a sub-weapon. However, there are too many people, so speaking is typical, and the woman's eyes are scary. I wouldn't want to be his buddy if he can... Well, at the same time, he would steal all the ladies, so maybe not. I probably want to hang out with them often. Uh, okay. Kajaki points at the man who is face down on the road. If he beat a guy bigger than him, then I think he's okay. Yeah. By me. Uh, by all the ladies or the dudes? Feeling Jada, I look at the women who are glaring back at me. It almost feels like they're saying, it doesn't matter if you're a woman or a man. If you get close to Kojaku, I'll never forgive you with nothing but their glares. They're all yonder Kajaka loses the edge of his mouth into a smile and laughs. This guy. But he's certainly a skill, so I won't say anything. Kajaka has been aware of merits of this of his looks for a long time now, and not to put it bluntly, he's a casually competent man that's pretty good at fighting. He works as a woman's hairdresser at his own pace, and he seems to be quite famous for it. I could tell. I could very very, very much tell. He works according to his own whims and sets up his signs when he wants to. There's no notice, and he doesn't take reservations. That's ballsy. Despite that, people always line up immediately. That's pretty cool, though. I mean, obviously, he has such a fan base that he doesn't need reservations. Whenever Kajaku touches your hair, it's supposed to send you heaven. Oh, my good. Touch my hair. Touch my hair, senpai. I can't even imagine how that works. Through my own eyes, this good guy act seems nothing but cheap. <laughs> Billions. <laughs> しょうがねえだろう。すいません、食わぬは男の恥だし。女はこの世の宝だし。Aren't <笑> Yeah, we should we should go. We don't want to steal his thunder. I mean, we could definitely do that if we really wanted to. Uh, hurry up with what? Sorry about that, honest one. I had to help out my father. It was that type of thing. Anyways, let's continue on. <sighs> yeah. Sigh. <laughs> As soon as I was finished talking, the woman went back to mobbing Kajaku. Sitting in the middle, Kajaku looked at me as if he was just remembering something, or remembered something. Ah, so da. Mata chika chika omae n toko iku kara. Tae san ni yoroshiku. Why do you have to visit my junk shop? That do you want to see my junk? Is that who you want? You want to see I? Maybe not my junk, but do you want to see Ayoba's junk? Hey, hey. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I give a short answer. I start walking again. Even so, that guy didn't seem tired at all. I think he was giving us a hint. Wouldn't you agree? Kajuka, Kajuka was just giving us a hint. I. He does anything he likes because he says women are treasures, but for me it's just impossible. Isn't it said that people like him are a certain kind of character? I don't know. Is there a certain character for that? I don't know. While listening to a woman's bubbling voices from behind, I walk to the courier. Alright, we're finally back onto our job or whatever we're supposed to do. Uh, a specialized shipping office, delivery works. I enter through the sign bearing automatic doors and am greeted by the smiling face of Yoshi-san who sits at the reception desk. Yoshi-san, that's a cool name. I like that name. Well, hello there. She seems way too excited to see us. <laughs> and, oh my god, recruiting young men only. Oh my gosh, don't tell me she's that type of late. Oh no, oh no. Look, at you see that sign? Recruiting young men only? I, I'm scared to be in here. Ioba, I, I, you should be scared too. Well, he seems happy. Maybe she's nice. I don't know. Maybe she's nicer than... What I see it as, I don't know. I bow silent and put the paper bag on the uh, on the counter. Speaking of the counter, what the hell is this? 
You see this? Is this why is there like a curtain thing right here? Did she do like puppet shows or something? Oh, that's what that's for. A small doll with dangling glossy fur sits proudly on the counter and closes closely watches my movements. She's that type. She's the one who brings her dog to around for anything. Well, at the same time, I guess I do too, but she grooms it too. I mean, come on. Oh, man. That, I'm a little bit creeped out now. I might want to leave. This is probably my sign to leave. <laughs> it's a sign dog of the shop. Yoshi-san's I'll make Clara. Okay. Yeah, let's send this. Let's leave, please. All right, yeah, you, you do take care of it. With experience, hands, Yoshi-san checks the address and pushes a nearby button. A box next to the counter opens as she throws the paper bag inside. The courier is a shipping server that sends packages immediately to anywhere in the old resident district. Even though we're on a small island, no one could possibly walk the same distance within a day. That's why in this town, where automobiles are such inconvenient, it's very useful. Yeah, I guess uh, he has a point. Now then, with this, my work today is finished. Yeah, let's get out of here. She's scaring me a bit. Oh, yeah, okay. She's trying to get, she's trying to keep us seeing her. Oh, yeah, our manager is very nice, sending us here before we go to work. Thank you. <laughs> it's very nice, but I don't want to be here right now. Wait. If it's Dan... Is that like a reality TV show I don't know about? Don? Yeah. Yeah, what, what is... Who is Don? Oh, that's... That's awkward. <laughs> well, she's not very memorable. I wonder why. She's, she's kind of creepy. Drama. <laughs> Drama. Okay, so, in other words, it's, in this island, it's considered the Bachelor slash Bachelorette. Wonderful. That totally in time, my, my type of show. We need to leave now, because I don't want to talk about this. Kaiser Matsuka. Oh, goodness. <sighs> yeah, yeah, right. We should go. Yoshi saw wraps her hair around her finger and looks absent-minded with eyes like a girl in love. I don't like this. Well, she isn't really a bad person. I mean, I'm sure she isn't, but maybe cuckoo. Yeah, let's, let's leave. I don't want to stay here any longer, but I kind of want to know, I kind of want to know this story, but I feel like it's just like bait to make me stay. Yoshi Sano seems to be quite serious and drops her eyebrows together while beckoning. She's not a bad person. I give up and bring my face closer to hers. There are no other people in the shop, but for some reason, Yoshi-san starts to speak in a whispering voice. That's not creepy. The more I think about it, the more I don't want to live in this place. I really don't. And what's that? Yeah. What are these rumors? Exactly what I was saying. Reasons why I don't want to stay here, but and another reason why I don't want to be in this shop right now. Same with Ioba. Scratch. That's an interesting name. Okay, yeah. Seriously, the police here, the officers, the police officers here, the whoever is in charge of the town, the, the authority. They're seriously lacking. <laughs> they don't care about this city, as you can tell. Yeah, let's not care. They're destroying, you know, infrastructure and stuff like that. No big deal. <laughs> I can imagine so. I mean, you can't, obviously, but... <laughs> There's my point. They're not reliable in this city. <laughs> It looks like there's so many cool things about this, but yeah, like as I've seen so far, this world's kind of screwed up. I don't think I want to live here. It's true that the police of the old resident district hardly do their jobs. They don't care if crimes are committed. For example, when passing a policeman, if you get on his nerves even just a little bit, you'll be punched or, in the worst case, arrested. They're just like the Yakuza. I don't want to live here. Why are we living here? Can we move out of this island? 
Yoshi card and you'll sort it out that is done. Yoshi son, trust me, unless you have a lot of money on you, they're not going to kidnap you. Trust me. That is not going to happen. <laughs> Oh goodness! That that you're not fooling me. Yoshi san sends me a Yoshi san sends me a meaningful look with the sparkling eyes. Exactly, exactly. Hey, I only speak the truth, lady. But I need to go. Because again, I speak the truth. Ah, Yeah, good job. Yatta. Oh damn it. When I try to hurry to the exam, I'm by a different voice than Yoshi-san's. <laughs> oh no. Please tell- Oh, poor Ren. Let me guess. He doesn't want to bother with whoever this is. <laughs> Clara. I'm pretty sure- Yeah, this is not good. Oh no. I'm gonna make- I'm gonna go ahead and say that they're not good friends. <laughs> I- I'm pretty sure. This is- I'm pretty sure that Clara-chan is just- Almost as annoying as Yoshi-san. Yoshi-san lifts Claire in her arms and licks at me with the eyes of full of expectation. Uh, You're a great liar, Ayoba. Poor Ren. He probably doesn't want to wake up, because if I remember correctly, he's asleep in our bag. When she presses me like that, I know I can't escape anymore. I'm sorry, Ren, but endure it for a little while. Oh, poor Ren. I take out Ren, who's in sleep mode, from the bag and tap his head lightly to start him. Oba, dosta. Poor Ren. Oh, I feel so bad. Ren, eh, to, Clara chan ni kawaii sats. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> that reaction. Shit. <laughs> that. Let's be real. That is what he was thinking exactly. He is not happy. <laughs> Ren, so, <laughs> Ren. <laughs> I'm about to lose. I'm gonna lose myself in coughs. I feel so bad. Lens tail and ears droop. A friend of him is a cocky Clara Chan being held by Yoshi san. Uh, no, I think he just doesn't want to be here right now. I think he'd rather be asleep. <laughs> well, at least he's nice about it. Clara wags her tail joyfully. Yoshi san also lowers the corners of her eyes and smiles. Oh yeah, you didn't see his size, like of like, oh crap! I do why am I here? <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah. Well, let's leave. This is too much for the both of us. Oh my gosh! Could you let us leave, lady? <laughs> you said that like ten minutes ago. Oh man, this sucks. Let me guess, we're gonna be there forever. It's gonna be longer than one minute. <laughs> when I was freed from Yoshi-san and went out, it was already night time. <laughs> yeah, very good job, because I feel bad for you, Bress. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that sounded like a dreadful time. Ren crouches down the bag warily. Clara seems to like Ren in such a manner that when our eyes mate when our eyes meet, it looks like he's begging for help. <laughs> I can tell. The personality of all mates can be set to one's liking. It changes with each environment little by little. As a result, a difference comes out in the chemistry between all mates just like with people. Len seems to not like Clara. I wonder why. Unfortunately for Len, I think it's a bit entertaining. <laughs> I think we survived. <laughs> yeah, somehow we survived. After Yoshi-san stopped me, I was treated to a cake that had a huge amount of whipped cream on it. Are you sure that was whipped cream? That could have been something else. I'm just putting it out there. She made it in a cooking class. More accurately, I was forced to eat it all. Oh, sounds like my grandmother. <laughs> Thanks to that, I now have a severe heartburn. <sighs> the bad type of heartburn, by the way. <laughs> I pat Ren's back to encourage my fellow soldier. <laughs> yeah, who barely evaded death. We were, we're we are real warriors right now. I began to walk to. <laughs> Walk towards home. Yeah, what a long day. Screw our manager for taking us here, for making us do this. This is too much, man. The town was now dressed in night and flashing neon lights lit up the shops everywhere. Because the legal construction isn't regulated, the sky in the old resident district is covered with the shadows of distorted buildings. That's why it's kind of dark even during the day. When night falls, groups that almost seem like they were in hiding until they come out. 
Lipsty's groups are too. I think I said, I, I'm actually supposed to say it Japanese or Ripsty's or Lipsty's. Lipsy's. So there's a completely different vibe from daytime. Lipsters are people in old resident district teaming up and fighting turf wars by themselves. Because Lipsy's is older than Rhyme or Lime, the guys doing the Lib look down on the ones doing mostly the Lime. This is a <laughs> mouthful. The Lipsters. The Leapsters think of those who do rhyme as a big-headed wise guy who lives in their own fantasy worlds. And I pulled up a backlog by accident. No. <laughs> but since it seems like Leapsters that are switching to rhyme, lately there have been many quarrels between the two groups. While I advance through the lively atmosphere, my hand is suddenly grabbed from behind. <laughs> who are you calling brain nuts? The person who grabs my arm is a frivolous man who here is died right, probably younger than me. Nah. I'm, I'm assuming these two are gangsters. <laughs> this time, a green haired guy comes closer with a smile. Wow, the hair colors. Is it Christmas? Yeah, oh, man. good one, Ayo, but great comeback. <laughs> That's actually really funny though. <laughs> Wait. The red haired one looks like looks at me with an artificial smile. Yeah, you tell them. Tell them that they're Christmas color hair. Like, yeah. <laughs> tell them that they are, yeah. Yeah. I don't know why I was going there. I was thinking of something and then it all disappeared. My train of thought. <laughs> when I try to shake off his hand with great effort, the redheaded looks at me angrily. <laughs> what do you want, Christmas man? <laughs> I had a bad day. You don't know what I've gone through. I had to deal with Yoshi-san for good, like... It's nighttime now for a good couple of hours, I'm telling you. Uh, are you deaf? I told you where it's selling at. <laughs> Bug bomb. Bug bomb. Bug bomb. Uh, yeah, nice name, bruh. The green haired guy holds, his out, holds out his wrist proudly. On is a tattoo of a winky girl with a north breast leaning over with a pink, big pink bomb. Whoa. Aren't these guys ashamed of having someone carve that on them? That's, that, is, that is pretty ridiculous. I don't know why they get uh, tattoos like that, but... And I haven't heard of Bug Bomb before, or Bug Boom. Even though this tattoo would also be a thing that peoples and teams do, I know very well that these guys are underlings, because they're only that. They like to pick up fights openly like this. That's it. Oh, uh -huh. call them out. Oh, uh, That's it. yeah, you are lame, bruh. Bug bone? Like, really? And that tattoo? Psh. Yeah, I don't need to be one. I'm a lone wolf. Can you tell? I am a no mark. Uh, red and green look at each other and start to smile stupidly. What's so funny, bruh? I don't need to be a part of a team. There are tag artists used to, as team uh, team symbols in Reeb, and the team's tag artists tattoo somewhere on your body when you join. Those who don't have a tattoo are soon are soon to not do Reeb, and that's why it's common that Nomarks become targets of diversion for Leapsters. There's no team that holds a grudge, grudge, <laughs> if you happen to kill a Nomark. <laughs> you may try, but I don't think it's gonna work. <laughs> Go for it. Uh, you know what I gotta say? Bring it, punk. Yeah, you better li Wait, who is that? That wasn't one of them. That wasn't me either. Red and green throw an exaggerated glare at the voice coming from behind them. Wow, is Ayoba a badass or something? I'm assuming he's talking about us. Yeah, who, who are you? But anyways, I suppose we're going to have to end it here because this has already been 30 minutes. I am very invested into the story right now, though. I'm excited to learn what happens next. But this is getting good. I'm starting to love this game. I can't wait to play more because this is actually so much fun right now. I'm not, I'm not even going to lie. This is... So far, this might be my favorite visual novel. I'm not even going to lie on that part. But anyways, I did hope you enjoyed this episode of Dramatical Murder. If you did, go ahead and leave a like and share in the video if you did enjoy. So subscribe, call, I'll see y'all. See y'all soon later with Gal Cal tomorrow. Oh, excuse me. Gal Cal tomorrow. Hopefully tomorrow. Because tonight, I'm going to be doing recordings with my friends on a certain Friends React episode. Oh, <gasps> Don't tell anybody now. But anyways, it's going to be a lot of fun. I think you Oscars are going to love it. It's going to be different from what you expected. But I think it's going to be fun because it's something that we can all relate to, I guess, in a sense. Or know about. Have a certain knowledge. Anywho, I think you'll love it. Hopefully you do. But 
yeah. I don't know. We'll find out, I guess, right? <laughs> Anyways, yeah. Uh, Jabal Kamara will be back on Monday. That's the plan. And same with Sakura Spirit. But that's my plan. So tomorrow, there might not be a video because I'll be working all day editing the special video for you awesome ones. I, I think all of you all will for sure like, hopefully. Cross my fingers for that. But anyways, I'll see you awesome ones later, okay? Love you. Don't forget to stay awesome. Bye! Starting to harden, causing her to stick to the ground. Oh, yeah, this is what we wanted. This is what we wanted. Wow, it's squeezing onto it pretty tightly, too. <laughs> uh, what the? Let me go, cheater, devious fiend.